Hi, this is JP Cousineau, and today I want to talk to you about a guitar player that you've never heard of. And it's uh, very puzzling why you never heard of him, because he was a brilliant guitar player. He was a, a great guitar player. His name was Nelson Simons, and uh, he's from Montreal. That's where I'm from. And I started to go see him when I was 16 or 17. He used to go to a club called the Penthouse, and then uh, he moved downtown to a basement establishment, which was uh, non-alcoholic, called uh, Black Bottom, and he stayed there for a few years, two, three years. And that's where I saw him the most often. I was there every weekend that I could, uh, by myself or with friends, and I'd always sit as close to him as I could in the first tables. And he had a trio, he had a great trio with Norman Villeneuve on drums and Charlie Biddles on bass. And between sets, he used to sit down with me and we'd talk about music mainly. After a couple of years, I was going there so often that every time I'd come in, they would yell out, Cousino! That felt really good. After a while, he sold me his guitar. The one he was playing at the time was a, a Gretsch hollow body single pickup jazz guitar and he wanted to upgrade to a Sal Salvador model. So when we decided that I would buy his guitar he said it needed a complete refretting. Okay so he went he brought it to the luthier and uh, he got it refretted and uh, I think I paid less for it than he paid to get it all refretted and spiffied up. That's just the, the kind of guy that he was. I made a short documentary so more people would know about him. So I hope you enjoy Nelson Simons. <laughs> Cannonball Adderley heard you in Indianapolis and went back and told the river oh, like people. Was. He said, this man in Indianapolis is playing guitar so you wouldn't believe. Now, this is the way most unknown players become known, I think, as itinerant musicians traveling around the country as you do now. When you get in a local town, you hear somebody and you go back to New York and say it. When you travel around the country, Wes, and indeed now you travel all over the world, mm -hmm. do you listen to players wherever you go? Every chance I get. Um, but when we've been working so much, it's hard to get out to hear other groups. Mm -hmm. other I, I hear some uh, guitar players uh, now and then, uh, upcoming guitar players, and uh, sound good. Where, where have you heard somebody? Who uh, does someone come to your mind now that you that you've heard uh, an unknown guitarist that's playing someplace? Well, yeah, Joe Diaro from uh, Chicago. Uh, have you heard of him? No. <coughs> He's together. And um, <coughs> but I think the most fantastic guitar player I've heard was Nelson Simon. He's in Montreal, Canada. Oscar Peterson uh, told me about him. Cole Chain told me about him. Um, Horse ever told me about him. Also, most of the major um, uh, musicians have told me about him. So I said, he must be great. And I played there um, one week and uh, I had a chance to hear him. So I couldn't burn my guitar up because I was working. Mm -hmm. um, well, that was. If you ever come here, it's over. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. See, now you probably don't believe this. Thing. No, I don't. Because I, I, I sort I of. I uh, never doubted you in my life. But I, I sort of uh, felt like, you know, you know, you could feel like a guy is good, sure. You yeah. know, you could like, excite somebody. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the way I felt, but it's much more than that. Uh, he's got a new approach to the instrument, a uh, new direction. For instance, he played cards as fast as a lot of guys play lines. Well, you do that. No, 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 no. I mean, play them. I mean, he'd, he'd make all the changes, all of them. I mean, about, uh, like if you start off with big changes, he'd continue with large changes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He's never heard anything like that. And he's always crying. He's always talking, oh, I'm not ready. I'm just going to get myself together. I'm talking, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much, man. How old the man is he? 
I don't even look like he's around 31, maybe 29, 30, 31, something like that. But he don't know his own talent. He don't know. Well, so keep that in mind. Nelson Simon. Nelson Simon in Montreal. Montreal. Montreal.